Okay guys, so here we go with another uh, RTGC. This is a rubber tire gantry crane. I tell you guys, all of the uh, cranes have air conditioners and heaters in here. If you run your heater, remember to open up all your windows first, turn it on, let all the moisture get out of the air. And yeah, it's gonna be cold for a little bit, but let all that moisture get out of the air so that your windows do not fog up. Then once you, you know, let it run for about five minutes, then you can shut your windows up. But you can see typical seat here. Again, that's a lever right there that you press down with your foot and that just makes the chair turn into position. Just makes it easier for you to get out of your crane. Not all of them work and do this. Yes, they all have seat belts in here. And this is your trolley forward trolley back that's the only thing this lever does right here is your steering so this makes you go forward into the cans and back out to the street um, this is your skew for your beam to make it twist left or right and that's just to help you that's just to help you put those cans down in the piles so that they're not crooked so you don't get those overlaps that I talked about when you go to lift up on your can or when you're coming down with your flippers it doesn't hit and flip your beam sideways to bump into those cans because you can knock a can over that way um, again that was your skew this is something you'll really never mess with this is full idle the engines are usually running always when you get into your crane if not, there's a start button down at the bottom. If it is on idle, you'll want to turn it to run so the engine's at full speed. There's cabin light right there, just so you can see what's up in the cabin. This is your fuel gauge here. So remember that sometimes your trans might cut out on you and you think something's wrong and you're calling a mechanic. Look at your fuel gauge. Not all of them have one, but this one does. And again, you know, this is a, a reupholstered seat um, not too bad actually and then this right here is your hoist up and down once you grab the cans and then this is your gantry to go left or to go right or whichever direction you're you're headed it's just either direction and again that's your steering for the tires to keep it on those yellow marks down there that you guys see it's very important that you keep it inside those marks because on the back side of your trans, you can see like right now, you really can't, it almost looks like I'm hitting something right here. So you go a little too farther in, you get your tires outside that way, and you're gonna hit cans over there. So it's always safest to drive in towards the truckers because you're able to see exactly what you're doing. Sometimes when you're driving, sometimes these need a double little pump. You know, you, you go to hit it once and it doesn't do anything, then just tap it again. And you'll see the wheels will start, you'll see the crane will just slowly start to turn. Right here, the, the letters have worn off, but right here is your lock and unlock. And you can see it says spreader. Right here it says spreader. This is to take it to a 20, a 40, and a 45. This is a very old crane, so everything's worn out. I just happen to know because I've been driving for so long that this is, you know, 20, 40, 45. And um, you could just ask for that. You can see right over here that uh, some guys even write on here. So somebody will probably eventually, if I had a Sharpie, I would write on here 20, 40, 45, so you would know where to turn this. This bypass right here, that's for mechanics. That's when they want to pick the beam up or something's wrong with the crane and they need to use a bypass to make it do what they want it to do. Um, that's a safety feature right here. Now I tell you guys about cross traveling. When we go down to the end of those brakes and we go over to the next rows, this makes our tires turn a full 90 degree turn. So you can see right there, it says 90 degrees. So if I wanted to cross travel, I would head down to the end of the brake. Then I would flick that over to 90. Once the tires turn, you'll hear sirens going off. Once the tire turns, it'll stop, the alarm will go off, and then you can start traveling to the next row, and that's gonna be your gantry level right here. This, it's gonna be the same thing to take you forward or backwards when you're traveling. Once you get to position in the next row, you're gonna flick this over to the zero position to get it 
right back how it is right now so you can travel up and down these rows. Right here, when you turn your power on, I'll show you that in a second here, but that's your spreader pump. You need your spreader pump. That controls the locks on the crane, also the hoist. And then all this is to turn it off. And this is the um, for the steering pump. You can pretty much see it's all self-explanatory. If you hit something, this collision light's gonna go on. Remember I told you these things have little whiskers down on the bottom corners. So if you touch a can, it usually cuts the crane off before the crane hits the can. And again, over here, you can see that's our on button right here, off when we get out of here. Engine fault, that'll go off if like the gas is out on that thing. This is for the engine run, the battery's on right now. This is to stop the buzzer if it's going off. A lot of the times, a lot of these things don't work. But don't worry about that too much because you're really not going to be using those things. And then again, we have over here, this is our piles right here. So you can see right here, TL, that means truck lane. And then lane one, not lane, but uh, pile one, two, three, four, five, and six. It goes six piles out out there. And what will happen is, is all the numbers of those cans will be on here when the job comes up and something green will be flickering to let you know that's gonna be the can for that trucker that's beneath you. Sometimes when you have the green blinking, you'll see some gray marks in here. That means those are cans to be delivered later on, so you don't wanna move cans and bury those. So try and remember that also when you're driving. So anyways, guys, just a little tip for you guys. That's your horn right there. Siren, if there's a trucker in your way, if there's a problem, maybe your radio's not working. You can hit that horn, they'll look up at you, and they'll realize you got a problem in the crane. Right there is our foot pedal. This is our mic right here. So that's basically what we use to talk to the uh, signal person down below. We just use our foot. Now, this one doesn't have a handheld. Some of the cranes do have a handheld mic too. But I can tell you it's a pain in the butt when you've got to take your hands off these levers to grab a mic, talk on it. Now you can see right here, that green light says unlock right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. The red light, once I'm landed, I'll get a landing light. What that landing light does is it tells me my beam is down on all four corners of that can so that I can lock up. If you land on that can and you don't get a landing light, it's not going to let you lock it. So that's how we lock and unlock the cans and that's what the landing light's for. So I hope that answered some of your questions. I know you guys have um, asked me kind of how things work in here. So hopefully this was enough detail for you guys to learn and get started.